Welcome to Mexico City. We are here in July and it's actually kind of gloomy and rainy, which is a nice escape from the heat of the Utah desert. But we are going to visit Palacio de Bellas Artes today and show you with you all the things that you can do inside and how to see a performance. First though, we wanted to talk a little bit about the Airbnb we're staying at because one, it's just gorgeous and I'm obsessed. I want to live here. And two, it's actually tied to the Plaza de Bellas Artes. It is about 50 minutes in Uber from the airport and it is a little farther from the Centro and Reforma where maybe if you're visiting for the first time or if you're planning on taking public transportation, that's where I would usually recommend you stay. But if you're good Ubering, which it only costs $10, even though it was like a 40 to 50 minute ride. So it's still very affordable with Uber compared to US prices. And it costs $66 for the night with all the Airbnb taxes and fees and things like that. And it's beautiful. The house um, has 13 rooms. So even if you don't stay in the room that we stay in, they all look gorgeous and have different designs and styles. The house itself, the architect was Francisco Mariscal. And I realized that I have been saying that the interior was finished by Francisco Mariscal and it's supposed to be Federico Mariscal. So just a note, I'll be sure to correct it with a little asterisk and make a note anytime I say Francisco because I totally messed that up. And Francisco Mariscal was the last architect to work on the Palacio de Bellas Artes. He finished it. So that's a fun little tie for our trip today since we're going to be spending some time there. the Palacio de Bellas Artes. Like I mentioned, it has a really long story and it took them a really long time to build it. Um, about 30 years actually, because they wanted to build it for the like, 100th anniversary of the Mexican Revolution, um, but they had some technical difficulties. It was so heavy, it was sinking into the ground, because if you know, Mexico City was originally a lake that they then put all the land in, and so it's very, um, Squishy, things are sinking. <laughs> and so they had some problems with that. And then there was also political and other revolutionary <laughs> problems that happened in the early 1900s. So the original architect was Italian. His name was Adamo Borari, but he went back to Italy. He also um, was the arch architect of the Palacio Postal, which is right next door and is gorgeous. We've been there and it's just a beautiful building. And you can see um, the influences in Coco from this building, if you didn't know. Francisco Mariscal finished the building and it was completed in 1934. Um, its main purpose is a theater, so they have lots of different performances here. There's something going on pretty much every day, depending, you know, it may not be a huge performance. We're lucky enough that we're here when the National Ballet of Spain is here, so it was 200 pesos per ticket. We just came before the show, it's about five-ish. We were able to get tickets for tonight at eight and we are going to get some um, tacos de canasta on Madero Street, which is a pedestrian street just nearby, and they're super cheap and super yummy. So excited to show you guys one of my favorites here in Mexico City.
you got some dinner. One thing that I forgot to mention before is that Bellas Artes is closed on Mondays. That's one of the reasons that we've never been to the um, museum inside or seen the murals because they're closed Mondays. So just something to be aware of when planning your trip. Madero Street is a pedestrian street like I mentioned and it connects Bellas Artes with Zocalo, which is the center of the historic center <laughs> and the uh, cathedral and Templo Mayor are there. Right before you get to a Zocalo is the restaurant that we ate at called Tacos de Canasta Los Especiales and Tacos de Canasta are called the Tacos de Canasta because they are sold in a basket. Canasta is Spanish for basket typically on the back of a bike and they're usually more of like a breakfast food but they're open late. This place makes 4,000 tacos a day. They're delicious. They have a few different choices. They have like potato and beans and uh, pork and so you order by how many you want and they give you your little token that signifies what you get. And um, you then take it to the person who's giving you your tacos and you tell them what kind you want and you get your drink. And they have just tubs of giant avocado salsa and um, carrots and peppers and onions that you can then add to your plate. They are delicious, super yummy. The salsa is great and you can just pile it on high. And they're super cheap. Like it's eight pesos a taco, which is I'm less than a dollar. So like if you want five tacos, which is like a plate, which I can't even finish five tacos, um, it's and a drink, it's 55 pesos, which is like 275. So Nafi and I both just ate dinner for five dollars and fifty cents, and they're delicious. It's not like you're just eating something you don't like. You're gonna love it. It's one of my favorites when we're here in El Centro. Now we are walking back down Madero Street, which is super fun to walk down and see anyway. There's tons of shops, like you know, even there's like Adidas and um, Zara and H&M. So lots of like shops you're familiar with and other shops to check out. But we are walking back towards um, Bellas Artes so we can get ready to see the performance of the Spanish ballet. We probably can't take any videos of the actual ballet, but we'll try and get some videos of the theater to show you guys what it looks like inside. The performance was so good. The theater is gorgeous. There's like a, a curtain or a screen that's made with thousands of pieces of Tiffany glass from New York and it's absolutely beautiful. And there's a stained glass kind of circle ceiling and that is also beautiful. The whole interior is just amazing. So I'd highly recommend going to see a performance. It's really a rather small theater. Um, I'm kind of surprised it actually fits 2,000 people. Like I mentioned, we went to see the um, National Ballet from Spain. They were only here for a certain amount of time. They're already gone but you can always go see the um, folkloric ballet from Mexico every Wednesday and Sunday and that one the cheapest tickets are 300 pesos but they have other performances like the performance we went and saw it was only 200 pesos a person and they have all the way down to 20 pesos lots of different plays operas musical events things that are here so definitely check it out and it's a super cool experience to see something inside came back on Sunday to check out the murals in the museum because we could not come earlier. Um, they actually don't close at 4, I believe they close at 6. 
between five and six. I'm seeing conflicting information. Online it says five, inside it says six. So a little bit of conflicting information. Just try to get here round four at least and you'll be good. The museum is really big. I was surprised. Um, outside it says museum like National de Architecture, but I didn't see anything about architecture. So I don't know if that's outdated. Um, it's actually, they have different exhibits on um, surrealism. So we saw some by Dali and other surrealist artists from Mexico and then the murals of course which are the centerpiece and are super interesting they're very political a little controversial um, there's like one called like the effects of fascism and one called the birth of democracy that's kind of violent looking and so I found a website that talks a little bit about some of the murals it's super interesting I'll link it just so you have some background information it really helps to understand um, what you're looking at there's also exhibits from some of the most famous artists in Mexico who also did the painting. So like Diego Rivera, De Mayo, Orozco, and they each have kind of different rooms with some of their art. So lots of art here and it's way bigger than I thought. Entrance is normally 80 pesos, but on Sundays it's free. So that's a plus. All the museums in Mexico City are free and on Sundays. And so that's something you can take advantage of if you're here on that day. We are going to get a little snack next at one of the best views of ASF. Sears across the street there's a cafe called Don Porfirio because Porfirio Diaz was the president of Mexico when Bellas Artes was built and they have sandwiches and really yummy hot chocolate and drinks and treats with the Oreo cheesecake and it was delicious and so it's just on the eighth floor of Sears and you can um, get a really awesome seat here with a view of Bellas Artes and do some people watching. We hope that you've enjoyed this guide with everything about Bellas Artes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.